Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this short tutorial we're going to learn how to set a multiple column unique key in Laravel. Okay, so I have this migration here and I want to set a unique key on the fields promo code and used at. So this actually is very simple. All I need to do is to call the unique method of my table object with an array of fields. Okay, let me roll back my migration and let me run it again. Now let me copy my insert query and let me run it and okay so I have one record and now let me run it again and as you see I have two records and this is because of the null value of the used at column. The problem of the null values is that MySQL doesn't actually think that two nulls are equal to each other. In the context of MySQL, it is better to think of nulls as wildcard values, values that can be anything. And that is why the unique key isn't working here. So in order to make it work, uh, we just need to set a default value for the used add column. So let it be the beginning of Unix time. Okay, so let's rerun the migration. Um, this time I want to test it with my factory. So here's my factory. So the name will be the same. Um, let me just run it using Tinker. So I create a factory object and uh, I want to create three instances. And as you see I get an error here. But one record should be there and there it is. And so in order to create a record with the same promo code I need to change the value of the use add column. So now I can do it. I still get an error, but these errors are on the second and third run. So, as you can see, this unique key is working. And instead of unique, we can also use primary in the same way. So I'm just doing here the ordinary rollback migrate routine, creating objects. And uh, it should be the same as with the unique key. Okay, thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.